Yeah, it can be quite challenging working all together since Andrew's uh, currently based in Australia. So we're using uh, Viber, Skype, a lot of emails back and forward and uh, it also makes it challenging with the time difference to call at the correct time when we're not sleeping or at work or doing something else. I suppose because separate locations, Cameron being there in Norway and me being here in Australia, I can't physically you know, be there working in the brewery. I've been able to really step outside that and provide kind of this second element to the brewing business, which a lot of other breweries might maybe outsource to a, a graphic design company or something like that. But we really get to focus on those ideas because that's, that's my sole kind of role in the, in the business. So Andrew's uh, responsible for all the artistic side of the brewery and um, he's designed our logo. The logo, yeah, the, probably the main feature I suppose is the Maltese cross, which actually also is crossed with a, a malt shovel and a brewing paddle. But it also incorporates the Southern Cross, which is on the, the Australian national flag. Uh, so we incorporate our sort of Australian heritage as well as our Queensland heritage by the Maltese cross sort of section. But there's a lot of detail that go into the other areas of the logo. So the two T's in little represent Cameron and I, and my arm is kind of figuratively over his shoulder. So that's the two of us standing there in the logo. In the actual brother section as well, there's a tiny map of Australia, which is in the R that's sort of hidden in the patterning and the texture of the font. So we're sort of incorporating things from our lives and that sort of thing into our logo. And then when we come to the labels, we sort of discuss the style of beer, what ingredients we're using and that sort of thing and, and try to decide things that, um, that can be incorporated on the label that have something to do with the beer, the style, what we want to, the beer to be represented as. We basically discuss imagery that he can incorporate into an artwork which he then hand draws. So I get the opportunity to really go into depth. I do a lot of research on whatever beer I'm about to do a label for. I do a lot of research in the history of the beer, the ingredients, the you know if there's locations involved. Yeah, so this is the label for Epic Venture. Each label has big artwork that wraps around the, the whole perimeter of the of the bottle, and uh, that starts out as a a concept sketch, which which kind of looks like this. So that sketch then goes on to being turned into a more detailed outline. We start to establish the perspective and how it's actually going to sit on the label. And then that gets turned into a detailed pencil drawing. And then, yeah, I go over that again into a pen drawing. This is the final drawing that gets turned into a vector file and put into uh, Illustrator. On this right hand side, is a, a London scene showing how a pale ale for Indian export was shipped across the ocean to India and that's kind of the history side of, of the IPA and then on this side is the current metropolis which is actually Portland and Oregon which is kind of the, that northwest coast of the United States has been a hotbed for the last 10 to 20 years of hot heavy IPAs even all the names and things on our beer, I hand draw all that artwork as well to give it a real sense of uniqueness and, and um, yeah, just like a hand drawn quality to the products. So not only is the beer inside handcrafted, but everything we try to do is, is handcrafted in the beer. We do a lot of single batch specialty brews and things like that. So Cameron names a lot of the just single batches that go out. So every month there's a new beer. So Cameron or Lachlan usually give names to those ones. And if we're gonna do one of our core beers, which Epic Venture is, then we we all sit down and you know decide exactly what this is gonna be because it's gonna be around a long time and you know it's important to kind of give it a name that really represents what the beer is and what our sort of yeah, ideologies are for the beer. I actually have only had, I think, like less than 10 bottles of my own beer, <laughs> which is painful. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the only bottles I've actually had of our official Little Brother Brewery beer is what Cameron uh, has been able to bring over in suitcases when he comes to visit. <laughs> Yeah, painful from my end, but yeah, I get to do all the pretty pictures and uh, yeah, Cameron gets to drink all the, 
Tu vas chez SPR. <rire>